Okay, so the pet spotlight for today will be on this Spirit Crab. Spirit Crab is a tier 1 pet, and of all the tier 1 pets, he has the highest, at I mean, health value out of all of them. So, he's the highest health tier 1 pet. He's not the highest health pet in the game, but all of all the pets with really high health, he is the best. So, where do you get the Spirit Crab? You get him right here in the ghost lands, along the coast. There's actually one right here in front of me. They're real easy to get. They're only like level 6. There's only two breeds available, so it's real easy to get the right breed, which is the HH. You don't want the other one because the other breed is... It's just not as good because it's an HS. I mean, you'll still do fine. The stats are fine and everything, but it's really not worth it because he's already slow as shit, and you really don't want the HS breed. Give the HH. Okay, so that's where you get it. And why, why is the Spirit Crap good? Well, for one... He's an undead. Undeads just have a really great racial. Being an undead already gives pets like extra points. It's like, hmm. Let's see. He's undead, so he's going to do a lot better than most other pets just because that racial to come back alive for a turn is just so good. What else is there to him, though? What sets him apart from all the other uh, undead pets that aren't tier 1? Well, unlike all other tier 1 undead pets, well, I mean, unlike all other undead pets in general, he can actually counter the pet that counters him better than it can counter himself. You see, the most popular critter type move in PvP is Flurry, which is a multi-hit move. And the Spirit Crab is able to throw up Shell Shield, which almost completely, it makes the damage, it doesn't completely negate it entirely, but it makes it so low that it's not a problem. And he also has a beast type basic ability, which means he hits hard against critters. So. Out of all the undead pets, he's the only one who can actually counter the pet type, which counters them, critters. He's the perfect critter counter for an undead, so he doesn't have to worry about being countered by anything since he can counter his counter very nicely. <laughs> so he's just great for that, and also aquatic pets, he doesn't have to worry about that either because he doesn't actually have any uh, undead moves, so he doesn't have to worry about doing less damage to them, because he's a hard hitter, so he doesn't have to worry about the dot reduction from undead, so. If, usually, in anti-meta teams, uh, they like to use lots of critters and aqua-type pets, and Spirit Crab just does not care about that. He has the advantage of having the really great undead racial, while at the same time having great stats, he has really high health, and really high attack for a super high health pet. Usually, most pets with a lot of health don't have that much attack power. He has almost 300, which is unheard of for an HH pet with as much health as he has. Not even the really good Anubish Idol has that much attack power. He's an HH pet who's tier 1 as well, and he only has 276 attack power, while this guy has almost 300 at 292. So he actually hits harder than the Anubisath Idol. They're both tier 1 pets, but he actually hits harder, has more health, has a better racial, and is able to counter his counter, and he also has, Whirlpool's not really that big of a deal, you could take Surge too if you wanted, if you wanted two basic attacks. The Surge is fun to mess with people who think they're faster than you, but Whirlpool's a nice alternative if you just want to, you know, hit a healing team, because it's really nice against healing teams, because most uh, teams that are healing teams are, uh, what should we call it, elemental types and Whirlpool hits really hard against that. It's a hard-hitting ability that hits hard against Elemental, so that's always fun. But you don't even need to use Whirlpool when you're using the Spirit Crab. You can literally just use Shell Shield and just spam Snap and do fantastic. Uh, Whirlpool is just like ice on the cake if you're able to use it, because sometimes there are some teams where you can't really use Whirlpool because they'll switch into something to just dodge it, so it's a waste of a turn, but it's not really needed because he's already really great without having to use it. So yeah, that Spirit Crab is one of the few easy tier 1 pets to get. There's two other ones, I think. There's the Emperor Crab, who's also a tier 1 pet, who's really easy to grab out in the wild, because he's not like a rare spawn. There's the Arctic Hare, and I think there's one other pet that you can actually get out in the wild, the Unborn Valk, who's tier 1, but she's a rare spawn, so she's kind of hard to get. So of all the tier 1 pets, uh, he's one of the ones that are easy to get. You just go over to the Ghost Lands, just go across the coast, so even if you're even if you're alliance, actually I don't even know how you get over here if you're alliance. Make a horde character, play play the good faction. So yeah, that's 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 the spirit crab. 